By now you probably know that I'm Bill Schwartz. I have been painting alongside my practice of law for about 20 years. When I paint, I really paint with three eyes. And I, when I say paint, I mean when I do my art. Um, the three eyes are inspiration, interpretation, and imagination. My inspiration comes from travel. And there are really two kinds of travel. One travel on my own where I've got a chair and a sketchbook and what inspires me, I pull out my chair and sit down and sketch it. The second travel that I do, if it isn't to sketch, is to visit museums. And I do this with Nancy. We visit museums and galleries where we're inspired by other artists' work. This is an example of the travel that I've done. Um, it's a sketchbook that has 72 uh, sketchbook uh, pages to it. Um, this is an index of the uh, sketchbook. And this is what the sketchbook itself looks like. It's filled with sketches, it's filled with receipts from restaurants, it's filled with all kinds of paraphernalia that takes me back to the sketch and what I felt like when I did the sketch when I come to do it in my studio four or five or ten years later. Moving now to interpretation, um, remember that I've come to a site that's inspired me. I've seen something that's inspired me and now I want to interpret that in my own language. A couple months ago, uh, Nancy and I were out in Headley, BC. Headley is a little town in the interior. I think it's got about 211 people. Uh, it's a delightful little town that's very, very isolated. I have my sketchbook and here's a shot of a typical Headley street. Notice the fences. Then we came across a building that's a house that I don't know why it wasn't particularly unusual, but somehow I like the roof slope and the double um, uh, verandas. And I sat down and sketched it. Day later, we went up to Soyuz, uh, which is not far, and we came across an apple orchard which was filled with some old, I think they were early Plymouths, because Headley has a car dealership which was a Plymouth dealership. Probably a lot of you don't even remember what a Plymouth is. Anyway, here's a shot of the Plymouth, and here's a shot of the sketch that I did from that Plymouth. Let me show you how that interpretation works with some imagination and comes to a final product. So in the last section on interpretation, you had a brief look at the imagination. And this is really where the rubber meets the road. What I do is I start with a canvas, which you buy and it's a white canvas or you stretch your own. And I gesso it with black gesso. Then with white chalk pencil, I draw random lines and they can be anything that I feel might be appropriate. Nothing is preconceived here. This is all just happening. So once I have those lines down, I try to make some sense of them. So what we do is we'll draw a line, join these. We'll maybe join, take this out here. This will come down here. This may come right down. Remember with chalk, you can do anything because you can erase it. So I'm not afraid of making a mistake. And I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to make a more profound foreground piece. Let's then put some features to it. What about, does a chimney work here? What about windows here? Put some 
more windows here to give this some definition in the background. When I was a lad, I had a choice of taking architecture or law. And I picked law. And um, I've never regretted that, but I'll tell you, I think that what has happened with my art is I have become a frustrated architect that's come out. <laughs> because I just, I love architecture. Okay, now with the application of paint, I, I currently like starting with the sky. I feel that something light in the sky, almost a warm white would work because that's fairly neutral then. I think I'm going to put some copper in. Brownie tinge. I think you can't paint a painting without knowing how to draw. What I like about oil is it's buttery. You can almost see, it's like, it's like spreading butter. It's, it's warm, it's sensual, it's tactile. All right, now, what next? We've got something light. You know what I'm going to do is I think we'll change a brush size and go to something dark. I'm thinking, you know what, maybe a, uh, maybe a Payne's Gray. I think I'll mix that Payne's Gray with a little bit of the surface sky color I already have. I'm going to do something dramatic for myself and I'm going to paint a bright cadmium red building. I think it's already speaking to me. Payne's Gray and Cadmium Red. So it gives me this, I'm getting a purple. I'm not sure it fits that well. But we want some, yeah, I think that might be good. What about that building to the right? I'm gonna try another red, a burnt iron oxide. I'm gonna mix a little bit of what's called Portland Gray. I think that I may introduce a little bit more yellow. When I finish this, I'm going to step back and I'm going to see whether the color harmony is there. Yeah, there's a bounce there. Let's try almost a gray. Ooh, I like that. That's such a nice, rich red. I'm really only using two size brushes so far. When it comes to the finer lines, I'll switch to a, a finer brush. I think we'll make those shapes dark. I'm going to take indigo. We'll temper it a little bit with some of the other colors we've got on our palette. A nice, rich gray. I haven't introduced a lot of new colors. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of mishmashing the same. We'll put kind of that burnt red oxide and see where that takes us. Put a little more of a green hue. Where's that yellow? Using Naples yellow. I'm going to see what kind of a, a real green I can make. See, that red accentuates. I like that. I like that. I'm going to continue that. I 
I like putting the windows running off the paintings because that makes a painting look bigger than it is. And then we'll see what it looks like with some white added. I want to make my colors jump. I think that that post on the left should also be dark. What do you do with a light sky? You accentuate it by putting dark against it. Well, when I stand back, I hope I like this because it's saturated. That works. As far as this is concerned, I think as of today, this is finished.